Today is actually a holiday here in Ghana and what better way to spend a holiday than to just pick up the camera, take all you guys and girls with me and go and experience and go and find some little hidden places, some places to experience, some places to try out food that not many people even knew existed in Ghana or even if they're in Ghana they didn't even know where they were or if they were even there. So that is the goal for today. I'm going to take you all along with me and as always Aquaba YouTube family if you're new here you don't have to contribute to the channel or support the channel by paying anything it just helps a lot if you take two seconds out of your day and please either click the subscribe button or click the comment button so we can keep on growing together getting better together and improving little by little every single day to achieve our goals also if you like this video click the like button so I can see down below let's get on with the video let's see what we can find it's been a really really relaxing morning so far slept in a bit obviously because it was a holiday had some breakfast, just got out the shower, gonna get changed now, take you all along with and see what we can get up to and see what we can find. If you're looking for the place you are coming from, if you know where the famous Ghanaian painting is on the wall, it is very, very close to it. We just make our way down. We have the petrol station on the left here. And as we walk a little bit further, they have a paint shop here. And then hidden in the side where not many people even realize it is a restaurant, it is called La Piazza. So music playing that side. Really, really nice, quite a busy street. They will also have a gelato shop next door slash in front, but here it is La Piazza. And then as you walk in, it's like a little hidden oasis. They got all African type paintings on the side, all undercover. And then I can see my parents in the inside, so we'll go and meet them there. The top area is currently closed, but the chef said I could come up and quickly just film it. So there's a bar out at the top there. Looks really nice actually, you can see the name of the restaurant again, La Piazza. I can guarantee you, at night when we used to live up the road, we would come here. It was a really, really great atmosphere. It's covered for the sun rays. And then if we just make our way over here, you can see this is where the entrance of it was. And then just down below is where we are going to be sitting. But it's a super, super nice vibe, this place. It feels like you're really out in the country, even though you're in the middle, in the center of a crowd, in cantonments. Lots of vegetation, lots of bushes. Really, really beautiful place. And then also they have an inside area that you can choose from. So let's head down the stairs and join the family. So, as I said, the inside area, if you want to sit in a nice air-conditioned place, is over there. So let's have a look at the drinks menu. There's so many different things to choose from. Right at the back, you have if we start here, we have all our different types of cocktails. They also have mocktails. So I'm going with the pina colada. My mom's going with the virgin uh, colada. And then my dad is getting a beer. They have fresh juice over here. They also have juice and soft drinks. They have some teas, coffees, and water. They also have on the back side wines and spirits here. Red wines, white wines, rosé, sparkling, champagne beer, your liqueurs, you got more spirits and your cognac 
and then a look at the menu which looks absolutely lovely you can see it says la piazza on it my dad's beer's just getting around <laughs> it looks really good and then open it very very nice in the insides we have our anti-pastas some more options some pasta and then you can just see i'll try and go over it so if everyone wants to pause it read it see the associated prices with them Tropical. All the meals here are usually absolutely delicious. The chef is a really, really nice, fun guy. You can see here, paninis. Then they also have desserts. And then on here, you also have some family pizzas and some wooden oven pizzas. So now I'm gonna sit, enjoy it, go to the parents with me, and then see what we end up eating. So our drinks have arrived. This is the pina colada. It looks absolutely amazing. Even got some pineapple on the top mom got a virgin pina colada and like i said my dad got the beer just had a taste test of it and it tasted absolutely delicious and then you can see in the distance there they actually have a wooden oven to make the pizza so i definitely went with pizzas but right now i'm gonna sit and we're gonna enjoy it all right so the food came extremely quickly my dad got a pepperoni pizza looks absolutely delicious and then i got yeah this is proper wooden oven baked pizza then we've got the vegetarian pizza over here with mozzarella, green peppers, red peppers, onions, and tomatoes. And then just waiting for our mom's food and then I'll show you that when it comes. My mom's food just arrived and I had to put it on the video. How amazing does this look? This is a tropical salad and it is served inside a half cut out pineapple. <clears throat> very, very nice. And my dad's got the pizza and I've got my pizza. So let's continue eating. We have just finished now and all I could say is absolutely top class. It was amazing. Thank you so much. The lady serving us was brilliant. It was an absolutely amazing experience. I highly, highly recommend it. We'll definitely be back here soon. So I'll leave the description, leave the details, everything down below if you want to come check it out. Really, really, really highly recommend it. And then, like I said, right next door is a gelato. So if you want to get some desserts, you can just go straight next door. The whole atmosphere, the whole vibe, the waitresses, Everyone who looked after us, the owners, the chefs, everything was extremely friendly. So I highly recommend it. Come and check it out. Like I said, La Piazza, absolutely brilliant place. Straight off the street, a little hidden place. Lots of people don't even know it exists. But hopefully now you learn something new and you come and support them.